I talked to a number of uh, pastors from Russia, uh, from the Ukraine, who were here. We had about 50 coming from. Bienvenidos una vez más a esta nueva actualización sobre el ministerio del pastor MacArthur que estuvo una vez más allí predicando este domingo 13 de marzo del 2022 quien les habla Claudio Germán desde Argentina y vamos a ver qué ha sucedido vamos a ver primero la subida para abrir lo que es la adoración la alabanza por el pastor MacArthur donde compartió el Salmo 40 Psalm 40 says I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry he brought me up out of the pit of destruction out of the miry clay and he set my feet upon a rock making my footsteps firm he put a new song in my mouth a song of praise to our God many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust. Let's bow in prayer. Vamos a ver un momento lo que decía MacArthur antes de comenzar su sermón. Agradeció una vez más a los que fueron partes y asistieron a la conferencia de pastores 2022. Así que veamos un momento lo que decía MacArthur. And speaking of thank you, I need to say a thank you to all of you who volunteered uh, for the Shepherds Conference. Again, you overwhelmed these uh, men with your love and concern and care and kindness. Uh, it, is a, it is a marvelous testimony to them. They, they have come from so many parts of the earth with so many different experiences. I know we, we think of them as a crowd of thousands of men, but really Everyone is a story, everyone is facing the issues of ministry in a very unique way and the refreshment that they gain not only from the preaching, fellowship with each other, but the kindness of the folks at Grace Church is, is really, really significant. Uh, MacArthur continúa y revela que habló con muchos pastores de Rusia y Ucrania que estuvieron allí en la conferencia y también revela que hubo muchos pastores de Ucrania que no pudieron asistir a la conferencia por el conflicto que ya se sabe que se está llevando allí en Ucrania por la guerra. También vamos a ver cómo MacArthur revela por lo que él escuchó y le dijeron que al parecer esta fue la mejor conferencia de pastores y personalmente podría estar de acuerdo con eso si pienso en que MacArthur en esta conferencia de pastores 2022 se encargó y no solo MacArthur sino que todos los pastores que predicaron se encargaron de marcar la diferencia entre lo que es la iglesia verdadera y la iglesia popular moderna que se ha inundado del mundo. Así que veamos todo lo que decía el pastor MacArthur. I talked to a number of uh, pastors from Russia. Uh, from the Ukraine who were here. We had about 50 coming from Ukraine who couldn't come because of the war. But there are some, some real challenges that these uh, dear men face. One pastor in Moscow told me one of the believers in his church, a faithful man, happens to be a captain in the Russian army and has to fight against the Ukraine. And he is a Christian struggling with the realities of that. So there's so many stories, a story for every individual that was here and we just trust the Lord uh, that he sorts out the need for every life and you were a huge part of meeting those needs so thank you for your kindness and thanks to Charlie Fernandez and all the all the people who uh, gave leadership to the conference and from from what I heard people said it was the best one ever but I think they say that every year and we'll accept that so 
Y para finalizar este video comentarles que el pastor MacArthur continuó predicando en el libro de Efesios y continuó en el capítulo 4 versos 17 al 24. Veamos solamente una pequeña introducción de esto que estoy diciendo. We come now to Ephesians chapter 4. We are going through the book of Ephesians and we are in chapter 4 again. It's the same text that we looked at last week, but we were unable to finish it, so we'll do that this morning. Ephesians 4, verses 17 to 24. 